Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are here in beautiful southwest Wales. That's right, and we've had some amazing food while we've been here, and we'd like to share it all with you on this video, so stay tuned. We are at Mam Ghee in Solva for breakfast, um, and this place is famous for its Welsh cakes, which we're going to grab some later, um, and we'll show you those. But meanwhile, we have our breakfast. So I've gone for a uh, veggie breakfast with uh, veggie sausages and uh, and some halloumi, and you can see the Welsh cakes over there. And you've gone for Welsh rarebit. I have gone for Welsh rarebit with an additional twist of a fried egg on top, and oh, oh my god, it smells amazing. Looks I'm and smells starving. delicious. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> it is so good. The cheese is delicious. It's tangy, a little bit of mustard in there. Mm. And the egg is cooked to perfection. Is that your first ever Welsh cake? Mm. I think it is. My what first is ever Welsh cake. It's really nice. What does it taste like? It's kind of like um, a scone, but a bit heavier. Um, and these are savoury ones, obviously, on here, but they've got all sorts of delicious sounding sweet ones on there as well. Um, but this is a really nice breakfast. It's got some halloumi, which is always good at breakfast time. Um, veggie sausages are really nice. Big old mushroom, and the tomatoes are absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Just finished a delicious breakfast at Mamgi Welsh Cakes. Really tasty. Solva, that was delicious. And actually, just what we needed as well. A nice mm. hot breakfast because it's been a pretty. I'm going okay, right, well, I've lost Mag. <laughs> Sorry, those are wanting to sniff over here. Um, but yeah, it's been a, a, a cold and dreary morning so far, so um, that's just what we needed, wasn't it? But yep. Gorgeous. And we have some of their sweet Welsh cakes to take away. So we've got a selection box of six. So we will be enjoying these later on with a cup of tea. But I have to say, those traditional Welsh cakes with your breakfast was, mm, were delicious. Really nice. They were cheesy, cheesy Welsh cakes. Mm. Yeah, absolutely tasty, yeah. Really good. And uh, my Welsh rabbit was absolutely delicious. And the server in there was telling us that it was started by two friends um, a few years ago, actually. So mm. it's fairly new. And Mamgi means grandmother. grandmother. And it's one of their old family recipes. So. Yeah, the Welsh cakes come from their grandmother's recipe, so that's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a really nice little spot, really friendly, uh, dog-friendly indeed, actually, so that's good. Um, there's a few people had their doggos in there. Um, uh, really small, um, very COVID safe, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, definitely recommend it? Yep, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And now on to our next stop. We're on the hunt for some seafood and we've come to uh, a lady's house. <laughs> um, apparently Mrs. Will the fish. Um, you go up to her bungalow and then you go around the back and knock on the back door and uh, hopefully you can buy some um, like crab platters and lobster platters and things like that. Seems a bit strange going to uh, a, you know, some strange lady's door and saying, can I have some fish please? But we're gonna but give it a go. Apparently it's highly well, you know, well yeah. regarded. Okay, go all on right. then, tell us all about it. Right, now this is the seafood platter for two and it's got lobster, crab, crevettes and prawns on. There's the tail of the lobster. Underneath here is from the body of the lobster, which is just mm. mixed with breadcrumbs and mayonnaise, but it's just nice on crackers. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the meat from the claws. The meat's been taken out of the claws, oh, as wonderful. you can see. Yeah. Crab up this end. In the four corners, you've got crevettes. And then you've got shelled prawns in the middle. Lovely. And I hope you enjoy it. Oh, oh we will. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Check it out. And Mrs. Wills is lovely. She's lovely. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> we literally go and stand in her kitchen and buy seafood. <laughs> what could be better? Um, this was the last platter that she had left, and what time do we get there? Like four o'clock. So um, get there early if you want to make sure that you're not disappointed. Um, 
but um, this looks incredible. So we're going to tuck into this. We've just got some cold white wine and some nice bread, and um, I think this will be a supper fit for a king. Wow. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells very good. Review us on TripAdvisor, we certainly will. This is Will Fish. This is a real local tip, pro tip. Um, if you were just wandering around Solva, I mean, she does have a sign outside, but it might be quite tricky to find, you know. Um, so I think this is a pro local tip. Dozer absolutely loves fish, <laughs> so he is You're very keen any. to You're give this a try. Any. So with the crab we've got white meat and brown meat, so I'm going to try some of the white meat first. Mm. Oh wow, oh that's really nice, mm. that's really light and I don't know what the flavour is. Delicious? Delicious, <laughs> <laughs> really tasty. I might try some of the lobster then. Go for it. This has already been taken out of the, out of the shell. shell, so I should just be able to eat it straight. Yep. It's really fresh, juicy, absolutely delicious. One thing we should mention is not only is this fantastically fresh, but it's um, locally caught as well. And uh, Mrs. Will could even tell you which um, boat this came from. And you know it's fresh because the other day when the weather was poor, uh, she posted on Facebook to say that because the weather was so bad, none of the boats were going out and so there wouldn't be any fish that day. Um, but absolutely fantastic and highly recommend this. It is top notch mm -hmm. grub, isn't really it? Really good, really, yeah. really good. Really Very good. much enjoying this. It's like a feast, isn't it? It is a feast. Really good. So I can't remember if we mentioned, but this platter was 30 pounds, but she, d she did do smaller platters mm -hmm. and you could just get crab for six pounds and stuff like that. Yeah. But this yeah. is very, very good. And we'll link her below as well, because um, I think if you're ever in the area, this is a must do. Got to check it out. Okay, Mac is going to give the lobster tail a try. I sure am. Looks amazing. Let me get in there. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Check that out. That is gorgeous. Mmm. That's really sweet meat. It's gorgeous. And you know what's great about this is there's nothing done to it. No lemon, no um, seasoning, nothing. It doesn't need anything. Absolutely gorgeous. This is so tender and fresh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't think I've ever, ever had seafood this fresh. I'm speechless. <laughs> really, really good. We are about to tuck into these delicious looking Welsh cakes, a sweet selection. We've got a selection of six. Yes, yeah, so we got these yesterday from Mamgi in Solva, um, and I have been looking forward to trying these for breakfast ever since. Um, can't remember what all of the flavours no are. No idea what the flavours are. I'm going straight in with this coconut one because oh. It, straight for the straight for the, the best looking the one. best looking one because it looks great. Let's oh, give this it? a go. Okay, so the texture looks a little bit crumbly, maybe. There's some desiccated coconut on top, some mm -hmm. chocolate chips in there as well. Looks good. Mm. How's that? Good. That is actually really good. When I looked at it, I thought it might taste a little bit dry but it doesn't, it's actually delicious. It almost melts in your mouth. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. You can taste the coconut on top as well. I'm actually gonna go in for the um, lemony looking one, I think. Oh, that would have been my second choice. Would it? Mm. That's good. Oh, again, that familiar texture. Nice lemon, uh, well, <laughs> I think it's lemon. Uh, icing on top, let's give us a go. Mm -mm. lemony. That's really nice. Isn't it funny how sometimes mm. you don't know what flavour something is unless you know what flavour it is? Yeah, you can't, yeah. You can't tell what flavour it is. Unless like sometimes you're told. with crisps. Mm. Mm. That's nice. That's got sort of um, some spices in it as well. Mmm. I was not expecting that. What's the main flavour spice you're getting? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of um, autumny spiced. Use your describing words. Mm. Cinnamon. Spicy. Spicy. Nice. Mm. It tastes just like autumn. I wish I knew what the spice was, but it's really nice. I think this one, I mean, I've only tried two, but this one is my favourite so far. And I think the spice that Mac was getting was ginger. Mm. So a really lovely, warm um, flavour to it. This is absolutely yum, yum. delicious. Okay, so the very last one. We have demolished these. We have, um, haven't we? But you'll see I'm saving this tiny little bit of the um, chocolate and ginger one because it was my favourite, so I'm going to save that until that the last. That's really nice, actually. But these are delicious. We are we are Welsh cake fans now. We are. Yeah, Never absolutely. had them before, but these are mm. gorgeous. What flavour is this one? Well, now I'm confused. Mm. Because I thought the other one with the drizzle icing on it was lemon flavoured. But this is definitely lemon flavoured. Is it? Right, okay. Big on lemon. Mm, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So, like, tart and mm. fresh lemon tasting that you can see little tiny bits of lemon through here. So, mm. they've obviously used fresh lemon in here. If you're ever in this part of Wales, in Pembrokeshire, and you are going to take a little trip to Solva, which I would recommend because it's a lovely little village, head to Mangi, grab some breakfast. Grab a box of Welsh cakes to take away with you and you will be set. I can't I'm tell you. So excited. If you had smelly vision right now, <laughs> your mouth would be watering like mm -hmm. mine is. So before we tell you about the food, I just want to tell you where we are and a little bit about the cafe. So um, this is from Cafe Moor, which means seafood in Welsh, and it is located at Freshwater West. And you have to be really lucky to find them open, I think, because you know they're seasonal, so Very they're only seasonal. here if it's good weather. Yeah. And they can sell out of their food quite quickly, so I am beyond excited. This place has won all sorts of awards, and looking at it, it's basically um, a converted Boat. Boat. An upturned boat, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, all powered by solar as well, and they do the best beach food. So, I have a uh, green grass burger, which is a vegetarian burger. I've got um, a seaweed ketchup, uh, cheese, and some salad on there as well. And this bun looks incredible. And you've got something entirely different. Yeah, I have, I have actually. I asked for a recommendation um, from the guys running the cafe just to pick something that was seafood. So, this is. Mull? Grey mullet. Grey mullet and cockles. And I don't think I've ever had cockles in my life, so I'm very Especially excited. Especially not in the bun. Oh god, it looks so good. Okay. We've got to tuck into this. This is this is going to be messy? It's going to be messy. I might need lots of serviettes. Mm. Oh wow. Is that good? Mm -hmm. That is really good. I'll probably have it all around my face right now. But it's a really delicious burger. It's like a bean burger, um, but it's got a really nice flavour, and the bun is super tasty. This is the best piece of fish I think I've ever eaten. Really? Mm-hmm. No kidding. So the halftime verdict is messy. But delicious. Really, really tasty. All of these flavours work so well together. Um, she did tell me what was in here, so that I, there's the cockle, there's the grey mullet, um, You've got some, some um, pickles and onions and it seaweed just and ketchup. tastes so good. Mm. It just really nice. works so well together, all yeah. of these flavours. So a really unassuming little place, but the food is fantastic. Vegetarian and vegan options as well. This is um, vegetarian, but uh, it could have been made vegan as well. So um, if you've got um, different dietary needs, well worth checking out. Really nice. And a fantastic outlook. Yeah, we'll show you the view in a minute. We'll, we'll probably take a view... Um, a couple of shots of, of what we're looking at but it's absolutely mm. beautiful yeah and we're gonna have a walk soon too because dozer is patiently sitting in the back yes. while we're eating all the food salivating over this yeah. seafood that he can't <laughs> eat Bless him. Oh, that's, uh, we order a sunny sunday and the sun comes out oh wow well, is, be is that included in the price <laughs> well we have our sunny sunday and the sun has come out what could be better mm. Oh, that's good. So there is um, a 
love a uh, seaweed brownie, mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream, marshmallows, cream, and a flake. The brownie's going to take some getting to. <laughs> That's okay, I've got time. Mm. Okay, I've got a bit of a brownie. Oh, ice cream everywhere. Let's give this a go. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, it's chewy. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's a distinctive flavour. Can you taste the seaweed? Hard to say. Maybe. Really tasty, though. Mmm, you should have a go at that. It's got oats in it as well, isn't it? Mm, I think so. Yeah. I just realised we're not sure if these uh, marshmallows are vegetarian. So we're leaving so them. So we're leaving them to one side. ice cream for some luxury gelato and um, I'm not quite sure but I wonder if these are the cows that produce the milk to make it with um, but I have gone for um, Jaffa cake and amaretto and sour cherry which is gorgeous You're really really nice really rich and flavorful and what have you gone for? I have gone for Pembrokeshire honey and salted caramel which sounded like the dream ice cream mix. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really melting over the sides, isn't it? How is it? Is it tasty? <laughs> it's really, really good. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It tastes really fresh. It's probably the strangest location to eat. It cream. is in the middle of a dairy farm. Although perhaps actually the most sensible place. Mm -hmm. This is really tasty. Mm. Well, you would think that we would not have enough room in our tummies. But you would be wrong. You would be wrong. <laughs> um, but we'll link Points Castle below. Um, uh, it's off a little, um, off, off the road down a little track towards the dairy farm. Um, well worth a stop. So well renowned, excellent reviews from everyone we've ever spoken to about it. Um, and we are here, really hungry. We've got a table by the quayside. You can't see because it's dark, um, but the river's right there. So I guess in the daytime it's be amazing. Um, we've scanned the QR code, so we've got the menu up on our phone. So we're about to order. Pizza TP is in Cardigan. It's run by I think some brothers. Yeah, three brothers. Three brothers. Three or four brothers. Some brothers. A group of brothers. Clan of brothers. It's run by brothers. <laughs> and basically, um, it's wood fired pizza served under a teepee. Hence the name Pizza Teepee. Pizza in a teepee. Pizza Teepee. So we made our order. We've both gone for simple pizzas with some additions. We've got some garlic focaccia and a couple of beers. Comes to £34. Um, super easy. Order it all on here. Pay on the app. And um, we'll say with 37 they come and find us. Simple as that. Going back for focaccia. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we have all this food. Some nice focaccia, delicious looking pizza. It smells incredible. Really nice, thin, crispy base. Super thin. Mm. Oh wow, that's really nice. On here, I have got pineapple, mushroom, pepper, olives and cheese and sauce base. And for those of you who say pineapple does not belong on a pizza, you people are wrong. <laughs> How's it? Good? <laughs> good too. Really good. That's it? <laughs> After all that, that's all you get is really good. That's it? Oh, really nice. Light and crispy. The sauce is delicious on here and you can taste the kind of um fire. Stone. Yeah, the fire that the mm. pizza is cooked in. It's cooked in the open fire. Really, really tasty. Stuck into this then. 
but I'm making good headway into my pizza. Me too. It's really delicious. Um, we've got garlic focaccia as well, and it is unbelievably good. Um, this is just immense, isn't it? Really nice. It's really good, and the setup is really, really good as well. Really good, really efficient. Order here, they shout out when it's ready. Off you pop, bring it back, scoff it. Yeah. And although it's October, we're not actually that cold sitting outside. No, it's fine actually. Yeah, and the main seats under the teepee have. Um, did I already mention this? They have fire. There's fire out there. Yeah. 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 We'll get some good shots of that. Yeah, we'll show you. We'll insert them. <laughs> Here. What a fantastic meal we've just had at Pizza TP. Um, if you're in Cardigan, check this place out. Really good value, the pizza is super fresh, beautiful thin crust. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. For me, 10 out of 10, definitely. I mean, what could be better, pizza and beer? I know, and it's outside, it's October, we can still sit outside and enjoy it. Fantastic, highly recommended. We've come to the Lime Crab in Newquay for a fresh seafood lunch. We've ordered our food at Lime Crab. Pretty cool looking place. Um, nice little view of the harbour as well. Gorgeous little seating area to uh, keep the breeze away. But we've ordered um, a seafood platter which has two of everything. And what everything is, I can't quite remember, but we'll show you in a minute. Um, and also some tempura prawns. They've got a really nice varied menu, actually. It's not your regular just fish and chips, um, but they've got all sorts of other things, some vegetarian and some vegan options, too. Man, this smells amazing. So we have got our food. We've got a nice order of tempura prawns in there. And we have our fish platter which has mackerel goujons, some scampi, um, some prawns, and some other stuff, and some chips. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells delicious. My mouth is absolutely watering. I'm gonna give one of these mackerel goujons a try. And this is homemade tartar sauce. To get a good bit on there. It's a nice to so good. This batter, lovely light, crispy, it's not greasy at all. It's like proper good fish in there as well. Yeah, the fish in here is really good, chunky, good meaty fish, and this batter is just delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try one of these tempura prawns. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, it's a nice chilli sauce as well. Got a little bit of a kick to it. Um, just so nice because it's quite chilly today and these are piping hot. Mm. Really good. Okay, I'm going to try a little bit of scampi. Dip this in the homemade sauce. Whoa. Oh no, it oh, didn't no. work. Oh, oh, fail. oh, fail. Fail. Okay, and now I'll eat the batter. <laughs> Tune in here for professional food videos. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last time I tried battered squid on this vlog, I made a. Beach. Languedoc Beach. It was at Languedoc Beach and I made such a right mess of it. <laughs> so let's see if I can do this any more delicately. <laughs> I'm going to give this crispy squid a try. Oh, that's much better. Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good. Sometimes squid can be a bit stringy and a little bit chewy, but this is perfect. Mm -mm. Really tasty. And that salt and pepper batter is delicious. Really flavorful and lovely. You know that moment when you say full and then you can't help but eat the last few chips in the box?
Well, we hope you've enjoyed our little food tour of this little corner of Wales. Because we sure enjoyed eating it. Oh, we did. <laughs> Actually, we really did. Yeah, we really did. There's some great food here um, and some really uh, different kinds of things, you know, breaking the mould of seaside fish and chips. Um, there's some really great restaurateurs and cafes doing some good work here. Um, hopefully it's inspired you to uh, do a little trip to Wales yourself. And if you have, check out some of the places that we've found. Yeah, we can highly recommend everywhere that we have featured in this video. We have. And if you've got a must try place in Wales that you know about, um, leave a comment below for, for other viewers and for us as well, because we're going to come back here 100% um, and we'd love to try some new places. Yep. Um, so, meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss our next upload. Absolutely. Uh, but for now, we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Bye.